Lori, Toy and Saturn Mom. I'm the mom of three girls. They're all grown up now, um, living on their own. But it's an interesting time because I have one who is uh, in New York, one who's in Washington, D.C., one who's in California. And I can't see any of them. It's a stressful time for all of us. I'm in Florida right now. My parents are two hours away and I won't dare go visit them either. They're both in their 80s. So how do our kids feel when we are feeling all of this? Um, my team and I, my editors and I talk a lot about the fun toys and I am gonna talk about some toys, but I also wanna talk about why they're so important. Our kids, even though, depending on their age, they're excited, some of them, to be home from school, not doing all that work, although they should be doing work. There are different ways that kids are keeping up. Um, they know, even the youngest ones know, that something's not right in the world right now, and it makes them anxious. And everyone handles that anxiousness in different ways. So one of the things I wanna share are allowing our kids to have besties, allowing them imaginative play, and allowing them to play out their feelings, sometimes with a fun friend. So these are really cute. These are Tinkle Crinkles. Um, it is a baby toy. It's got the sounds, it's got the pulls. But one of the things that I remember as a mom, especially when I had my first daughter, I do have three girls, and then I was pregnant with my second, and it, the same thing happened again, is that when things are stressful for little children, for our youngest, for our toddlers, they might regress back a little bit. And this might have been their favorite little stroller toy. And even if they're out of that stroller or out of that crib, this little guy, who happens to be really cute from Guns, um, it might be the thing that helps them sleep through the night. So remember that they're never too old for the things that used to be their favorites. Um, these are really cute. These are squeezables. So unfortunately through the camera, you can't smell them, but I do love scented toys, especially when they really smell good. So these are squishy little pets. I have a bunch of them right here. I am also, by the way, keeping a lot of the tags on these toys, even when I show them, because when all of this passes and it shall pass, um, there are so many local charities that can use these toys, and I know with a lot of them won't take it if the tags are off, if the packages are open. So I do want to be able to make sure that I can give it all away once I am back in my office and back to traveling around. Um, but these are great because they're inexpensive, they're little, uh, and for this and the next toy I'm going to talk about, not only will kids sleep with them, take them anywhere, they're soft, they're wonderful, and they feel comforting, but once they have a few of them, they're gonna make up fun stories. And it could be about the fact that we can't go out today. Nope, we can go in the backyard, but we have to play all by ourselves. So you just never know. Um, hair adorables. I, I'm a doll girl, I always have been. Hair adorables is actually one of my favorite lines because uh, these girls all have big hair, don't care attitudes. <laughs> So um, there's a, been a number of collections. This is the newest one, and it is scented, which I love. And they come in these cute little carrying cases. There's 39 new dolls that you'll be able to go out and collect. Each one of the carrying cases has 11 surprises. We do love the surprises inside. Um, but again, kids are going to be collecting them using their original hair adorables, their new ones acting out scenes, it's such a healthy way, especially if they're not talking to you about how they're feeling. They'll do it when they're playing. Um, and pets, you know, our kids are always asking for pets. Uh, you know, my kids were lucky. I'm a, a dog lover. We always had a dog in the house. Uh, unfortunately, we ended up um, saying goodbye to our little dog uh, about nine months ago or so. Uh, my husband still has his cat. I say that because <laughs> because I like the dogs better than the cats, but I'm a cat person too. Anyway, uh, there's lots of other ways to have pets. And in a time like this, there's nothing like nurturing your pet. So um, remember Tamagotchi? Well, now there's Tamagotchi Pac-Man. So they're really little, like the original ones that I remember when my kids were young. Um, and kids are nurturing, except instead of their regular Tamagotchi pet, it's like a little Pac-Man pet, but they're feeding it, they're taking care of it, and it helps them 
with that whole responsibility thing that they need to feel and want to feel. They want to feel like they're doing something, taking care of something. So they're going to have fun with it. When we go back to school, they're going to hang it right on their backpack. But in the meantime, it's good for them to get into that nurturing mode, helping with their pet virtually, helping with any live pets you might have around the house, and helping with any younger siblings. And finally, because we all have to have a sense of humor through all of this, <laughs> This is mushy belly. Now, I chose one of the big ones. They come in different sizes, but I think they're hysterical. They are soft as could be, so we can take them to bed. <laughs> we can make silly videos. They're really fun, but again, it's about having that favorite bestie. Different sizes, different colors, different shapes. Um, but remember, we all will get through this. Our kids are gonna get through this. Um, it's a tough time and it's a stressful time. So I know that it's stressful for parents, but remember that the kids feel it too and there are lots of ways to help them out. Thanks for listening.